Hello friends, this is Ankur from Fin Study Club, welcoming all viewers to the session on solvency ratios. Now, this ratios, uh, the solvency ratios have to be understood and looked at after looking at the liquidity ratios. And liquidity ratios, while we have said, is the ability of the firm to repay its liability within a period of 12 months. Now, there we had said that the time is critical, doesn't matter what is the nature of the liability, as in it could be operational or it could be financial. But here, objective is not to check the ability of the firm to repay. We are not repaying anything here. The objective of these ratios is much more strategic. It is basically to analyze the capital structure and check the burden on that. What I mean by burden? Debt on that. What is debt? Debt is a capital which is borrowed, full stop. It could be borrowed for a day, it could be borrowed for 15 years. So whatever kind of debt it is, even for a day or for 15 years, you have to include in the definition of debt. That is also a burden on the capital structure. Your time is not important. The nature is important. And nature that you have to take is only financing. So while if let's say we are making cash flow statement, CFF is something that we will talk about here. Okay, so if I look at the capital structure, that pi is divided into broadly three aspects, equity, preference and debt. Okay. Equity could be further divided into the fresh equity and the retained earnings. Okay, but I still like to call them equity. Anyhow, so the solvency ratios are going to bisect and dissect each one, you know, in relation to, you know, the other. I mean, basically, the numerator and denominator are going to be, you know, one of, of these things only. All put together is going to give you the total assets. So sometimes you will be calculating debt ratio which is total debt upon total asset. Sometimes we'll be cal calculating proprietary ratio, total equity upon total asset. Proprietary ratio. Sometimes the reciprocal of that is financial leverage, total asset upon total equity. So can you see that different ratios have got similar sort of a meaning, similar sort of a meaning. Okay. Now, something which is very, very critical, the most important ratio, is debt to equity. This ratio is basically to check the burden on the capital structure. This is your burden and this is your risk capital, the shareholders equity. Now a couple of points here. Where would preference be included? Preference is absolutely a part of equity. There is no doubt. Except when they are redeemable. If they are redeemable, then following substance over form then following substance over form preference will be taken equal to debt okay that's the first important point here on the slide the treatment of preference the second important point is what is debt like i had already mentioned debt is any liability which is financial in nature you know just just a quick question to everyone how how would you identify a liability is financial or operational how would you identify in a general, you know, kind of co common life phenomena. How would you do that? Let me give you a small hint. Any liability which will have a percentage added to itself, that will denote that it is an interest-bearing liability and financial liabilities are generally interest-bearing liabilities. Because obviously you need to pay an interest basis that. And what is debt? Debt is a borrowed capital. So on borrowing, you got to pay your interest. So you would have never heard about 9% outstanding salary. Outstanding salary is also a liability, but it's not an op it's not a financing liability. You'd have never heard about 4% outstanding rent. But you would have heard about 11% preference shares. You would have heard about 9% redeemable bonds. You would have heard about 4.5% money market instrument. So Oh, this is like a indication and hence we sometimes call it as the total debt is equal to the long-term debt 
and the interest bearing short term debt why is this focus on interest bearing the reason being because i want to highlight the financial aspects out of those financial aspects out of those okay very very critical and important here there is something called as interest coverage and fixed charge coverage now interest coverage i think hasn't been mentioned here interest coverage which is basically the ability of the firm to repay the interest of debt so what is the profit level from which the interest is paid it is ebit because from sales up to ebit it's all operational area so your interest doesn't get the priority over these things, expenses and it's only from ebit is you know the turn of interest comes into picture now ebit divided by the interest is your normal interest coverage a firm would like to have it as much as possible i mean greater the coverage the lower the risk from interest you can also calculate the fixed charge coverage ratio because like interest there may be other fixed charges also which is like ebit plus the lease payments and interest again plus the, so what you are doing is you are adding the lease payments in the numerator as well as in the denominator so fixed charge ratio remains as it is absolutely similar to the interest coverage ratio with a small change that you are adding the fixed charges in the both numerator and the denominator you know that's all so solvency ratio is one of the very very critical and important ratios uh, you know to be understood from a capital structure point of view when you go to your level 2 there are capital structure theories in your corporate finance there again you know these things are going to become very very critical and important towards the end i would just like you to pay attention to a small matrix that i'm going to make here and i would like you to draw the same 1 2 3 and 4 short term long term operational financial what i am doing is profiling of liability i am profiling the liability give me an example of an operational short term liability outstanding salary there could be 100 other examples because most of the operational liabilities are short term give me an example of financial long term liability there could be 100 examples bonds loans you know redeemable preference shares if at all but these two quadrants 2 and 4 are special they are exceptional short term financial are not much heard of but they still exist an example of that is notes payable notes payable you have done in your this matrix actually you have also made in your cash flow statements notes payable is financial in nature but it is short term so in case of cash flow statement where the nature was important you are going to include it in cff you are not going to include it in cfo same is the case here solvency ratio talk about debt debt means any debt so in case of debt if i look at the quadrant in that matrix debt will be 4 plus 3 okay what is a example of an operational and a long term liability well we haven't covered that topic up it is deferred tax liability it is an operational liability but belonging to you know a year which is beyond the next so you have you know the deferred tax liability fitting the bill in quadrant 2 my question is the liquidity ratios talk about current liability so what are current liability any liability which is short term doesn't matter what is the nature so you are going to cover 1 plus 4 solvency doesn't focus on time they focus on the nature so nature means debt debt means 4 plus 3 that means do you see here that there is a duplication of element 4 because they possess both the characters are short term therefore needs to be covered from a bankruptcy standpoint in liquidity and they are financial in nature therefore they need to be looked at as a burden on the capital structure okay please don't think that there has been a duplication so there is a mistake no we are not saying that the liquidity ratio and solvency ratios if you add them you are going to get 100% we are not saying short term plus long term is equal to comprehensive 100% no 
but this is what you know and sometimes in the schools or let's say sometimes graduation is being told solvency is the long term liquidity and liquidity is the short term solvency a big no a big no there is nothing like that liquidity means availability of cash at the time required full stop solvency means the burden on the capital structure okay solvent and bankrupt are two different aspects two different aspects so i hope that this you know powerful session was useful looking forward to speak to you in my next session on the profitability ratios